Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to CodeSignal to work on the Python coding exercises. If you're joining this in the middle of the playlist, I'll put a link in the description below so you can start from the beginning if you wish. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're going to get Arcade, Python, and then we're at the last one of this lurking in lists, uh, the print list. So you have to implement the code in this ellipsis. So you are supposed to prepare a presentation about lists in Python, but totally forgot about it. Now that you don't have enough time for it, you decided to show some usage examples instead and say with the poker face that this is how you understood the assignment. Now you need to implement a function that will display a list in the console. Implement a function that, given a list LST, will return it as a string as follows. This is your list and then uh, the list itself. So for the list like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here, it's just going to print uh, a string of this is your list colon and then the list alright so we have to do this in one line so we're gonna do uh, the format function so we're just gonna do this is your list colon space and then we're gonna do this two brackets so if you remember the format function uh, wherever these brackets are you can specify in the argument list of the format what goes in there. So we can go dot format and then do dot list. Now you can also put a zero in here and then that will be the zero index item in what as many arguments as you have in the list. So uh, you could have a zero if you have a second item then you could have uh, one that has a one as well so you could have like this etc. But since we only have one item, we don't really need that. Because uh, Python will just go, okay, there's only one, it'll grab the first one. So if we go ahead and run that, you can see it worked. So here's an empty list, so it just says this is your list, and then here's the empty list. So that's how you would display that with the format function and replacing it with the brackets. Alright, I hope you guys were able to follow along with that, and I hope you join me for future videos. Thank you very much.